Uh, Grim Buddy, I think we've done something wrong. Hey there, everyone. Dan here from the Diamond Minecart, and welcome to another Minecraft mod review. Where today I'm going to be showcasing the Pet Bats mod, which has now been updated to 1.6.1, and is a really well made and really fun mod as well. So this mod adds in exactly what it says in the title: a bat that you can keep as your pet, and it will fight for you as well. So let's see how we can get to catching one of these and claiming it as our own. So what we've got here are a load of bats. So I'm going to spawn an absolute ton of them in, and what we're going to need uh, to try and tame these is pumpkin pie now pumpkin pie is made by pumpkin egg and sugar i think so hopefully i've got that right oh my god i forgot grim i'm so sorry grim is here sitting down patiently he didn't even make any sound but grim's here so he can help us select our new bat friends so what we're going to do is this is really clever actually you need to go into game mode zero and you need to grab your pumpkin pie and obviously it's going to be really difficult to try and grab one of these guys and right click them to try and claim them as your own so the mod creator is actually putting a thing where if you hit the ground with pumpkin pie they come towards you how amazing is that and really really clever as well so let's hit the ground a few times they should come near us and bam bam we need to grab one yes we got one oh my god no no way are you kidding me it, its name is daniel it, the bat's name is daniel what an excellent choice grim oh my god his name is dan what the hell how does that oh my god they have random names every time and when i was testing this out it was all like really strange names but daniel I, i'm pretty impressed with that my god, where's he got? Daniel. Daniel, where you go? There we go. Right, so now I've calmed down. We actually need to try and grab this guy. So this guy will actually follow us now. And we can grab him into our hot bar as well to try and take care of him. Look at this, our little team. We've got Grim, the undead dog, and we've got Daniel the bat. So let's grab this guy and he will go into our inventory. Now you can see that we've actually got a buff now. And that's because we are holding him in our hot bar. If we let go of him, we won't get a buff and it will just disappear. Ready? It's gone, but if we hold him in our hand, we will get night vision for unlimited amount of time, which is awesome. So if we're going into the sea to try and build or find stuff, or we're just in generally at night, this is going to come in very handy. Now, to release him, you don't actually right-click or anything. You just press the Q key, and he will just kind of release and then follow you. So let's go over here. We need to pick him up again, actually, to show you some more. So let's um, grab him, and as you can see at the bottom there, he has a little durability bar. So let's press the right-click button, and we come up with this human bat interface. Now, I was going to change his name but i am not going to change that name my god it's beautiful so what we've got here is our level zero pet bat and he's got no experience but it tells you how much you need to go to the next level which is 25 and then we've also got health which is now at 12 out of 16 for some reason did he get hurt i'm not too sure but we've got attack power one as well and a small little description of the level he's at so currently he is adorable and only slightly weaponized so that is little daniel the pet bat and now we need to kind of heal this guy up because he's already been hurt so let's throw him out like this and here he is little daniel and this is incredibly clever let's go over here come on grim come on follow me over here grim and daniel best of buddies for life so here's daniel and he has 12 health out of his 16 so we need to um, buff him back up and it's really really clever how this works you just throw a piece of pumpkin pie on the ground he'll go up to it munch it and just regain health how incredible is that daniel come here daniel daniel come here there we go right click and you can see he now has full health how amazing is that that is a really really nice piece of coding there and it saves you just having to right click the bat with your pumpkin pie because it's going to be damn difficult to do that so what else have we got over here well as you can see in the little right click menu we've got some levels and experience so we need some more experience so how does he get this well he will actually get experience from attacking mobs because he will protect you so let's spawn in a spider for now and then he won't attack it just yet because the spider is not attacking me but if i attack the spider or a mob attacks me then daniel will fly into action and maybe um he will grim as well so let's go daniel and grim take him down go on go on grim's taking hits but daniel is oh my god that was a beautiful teamwork well done sons well done so grim takes more damage there and you can see the um advantage of having a bat because the bat will actually not take much damage from stuff that is on the ground they take come here you little come here you little punk where are you oh my god these are really difficult to try and grab where'd he go oh he's in there oh my god that's so derpy but anyway as you can see he has gained four experience for hitting that spider now he doesn't have to actually kill the spider he just needs to deal damage to mobs so every piece of damage he deals he'll get a little bit of experience and now we only need 21 for the next level now as i was saying just a minute ago he is not as good against skeletons because he's really really good against the mobs that have um ground attacks but as you see here 
as um, Daniel attacks the little skeleton. Oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is madness. This is madness. So anyway, when Daniel attacks the skeleton, the little bat, he is going to um, attract the attention of the skeleton if Grim didn't get in there first, you know. So let's go. Grim was... Grim! Grim! Oh my god, you've grown skin. Oh my god, you've grown skin. What is going on? Oh, thank God. Thank God. What happened to you? Grim, come on. That's out of order. So where is Daniel gone? Daniel. So yeah, he um takes experience from whatever he hits. And we're going to try that again because that went really wrong. So what I was trying to say is that Daniel will take hits from a skeleton more than a spider or a zombie because he goes in with the aerial attacks, but they will attract the... Look, you can see the skeleton is um firing arrows at Daniel and Daniel should be a little bit hurt right now. How are you doing, Daniel? Where are you? Where are you? There you go. Um, you are on... Oh, you're not too bad. You only took three health of damage. So let's go down into this mine here, and we will take Daniel for a little spin. So let's go down here. Um, come on, Grim. Let's get down here. Whee! So we're down here into this mining system I happen to find. We're going to release Daniel, and here's Grim as well. Well done for getting down here without hurting yourself, little Grim. So let's um, take him out, and you will see that... Come here. Come here. You will see that Daniel, the bat, will actually hang from the ceiling and just chill where he is. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks. That looks awesome. His little yellow eyes. So he will just chill here until you move away from him. Say you're just mining here. He'll just chill upside down, which is really awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's um, get him over here. And we need to kind of spawn in something that's going to hurt us. So we need a spider. So we need to level up Daniel here. So let's punch him. Grim and Daniel will go into action. And oh my god, no. No, please no. Please not now. No, I got a creeper. Wow. Come on, Daniel. Just take him out. Out, take him out so as you can see the creeper isn't posing a threat right now because um, he doesn't attack me when I'm in normal mode and he doesn't really deal damage like a spider or a skeleton would so let's bring Daniel back in see how much experience he's got he's only got seven health now but he does have 16 experience the next level he needs nine so let's carry on doing this come on Daniel you can do it oh my god the spider I'm so sorry Spider, I'm sorry. So here we go. They spawn this guy and see him attack again. So as you see, he won't attack until um, the spider attacks me or the uh, other way around, basically. So let's get him down here so Daniel can actually reach him. Come on. Get down. You are cheating, sir. You are cheating, sir. Get down from there. Get down. Okay. Okay, you're not going to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So he did take him down. Did he go up a level? Come on, Daniel. Come on. It's so weird that he actually spawned with the same name. He's got nine to go, so I think Grim did most of that. So I'm going to tell Grim... Oh, God. I need to tell Grim to sit down for this one. Sorry, Grim. Just stay there. It'll be fine. We'll be back in a second, little man. So let's just put the spider through here. And then we will release Daniel with the Q key. Punch the spider, and Daniel will go ahead and attack. Take him out, man. Take him out. So he is getting lots of hits in. He should level up now, because those are a lot of hits. And he's not taking any damage either, which is awesome. But, unfortunately, after I show you him leveling up, I do need to show him when he dies. So, it doesn't sound as bad as it is, don't worry. So, he's got just one health left, but he has now gained level. He is now a level one brawler pet bat. So, there are seven levels altogether, which are awesome. And hopefully, I'll be able to show you level seven. But anyway, he's got 31 experience now. His health went up by one as well. No, two. He went from 16 to 18, and his attack power is now two as well. And he's changed his description. He's got has been in some fights and can bust you out in a pinch. Yeah, man. Damn. Daniel the Bat is insane. So what we've got here is 44 experience to go up his next level. But I do want to show you what happens when um, Daniel does get really damaged. Because, oh, he's, he's, he, what happens? He's already too damaged to fight. So what happens here is, you, as you saw there, when I press Q, it just throws him onto the floor. So Grim, Grim, we need to return to the surface. What have you been doing with this creeper here? Um, we need to return to the surface. Let's do this. This is serious business. Let's go to the top. And what you need to do to reheal your bat so that he can actually um, fight again is that you need to go to a crafting table with a pumpkin pie and put them into the same recipe just like this and it will give you a fed pet bat which is just your normal pet bat don't worry it'll change back to your name and he will come out again that is beautiful so all you need is pumpkin pie just so that your bat doesn't um completely die so yeah just be careful of that so it looks like when he goes down to like one or zero health he will need the pumpkin pie um regen so yeah it's not too bad at least they don't completely pass away and you don't lose all their levels and stuff what you do lose though is the experience so say i I was one away from the next level and Daniel died, then I'll go back to um, just the level one experience and have to get it all back again. So what is left to show? I don't know, Grim, what is left? So I guess I'm just going to level him up until he gets to level seven, which could take a while, but I'm going to do that and show you the special effect that the bats have. So I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, guys, we have made it look. Daniel is now a glistening bat. Let's see if there's any different features while he's going around. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. Like a glistening enchanted bat. There is only six levels. I did think there was seven, but come here, you little punk. I got him there. We got him there. This is how much string we collected in spider eyes. So some of you smart guys out there will be able to realize how much, um, how many spiders we needed to kill for that. It was just spiders, so try and work that out. That'll be pretty interesting. Right click. We got the ultimate badass bat. Yeah, check that out. He's got 28 health, 7 attack power, you point, they die. This is Daniel the super bat. Let's see how many hits it takes to take out a spider. It's one from me and three from him. That is pretty beast. Well done, Daniel. Beautiful. How are you feeling about the new guy, Grim? Yeah, I thought you did. He's, he's pretty awesome, isn't he? So yeah, that is pretty much... Oh, actually, I did forget one. I did forget one thing. While I was doing this, I did realize that after level 3, your little bat gains a life-sapping ability, which takes 33% of the opponent's health, or the um, the spider's health, or whatever it's killing, and adds it to its own. So it does become pretty self-efficient past um, level 3. So if Daniel is taking a little bit of damage, say he's doing 3 hits to a spider and taking 1 bit of damage, he pretty much just regens himself after he's um, attacked, because he does have that really cool ability so yeah that is pretty much what this mod has to offer it's a really clever mod it's awesome and yeah i love it it's really really cool so if you like what you see and want to play it for yourself then please do head to the description below to find a download link for this mod and also if you happen to be new to the channel then please do subscribe for daily minecraft videos and if you did enjoy the video a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too grim you are beautiful and so are you daniel the bat so this is actually a forge mod for 1.6.1 i did a video earlier today for those of you struggling with 1.6.1 i know i was so go and check that out it's a flawless way to um go ahead and install your forge so yeah that's pretty much it from me guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye <laughs>